Alan Faulkner here. This Azure Everyday video we will talk about the Data Migration Assistant. The Data Migration Assistant enables you to upgrade to a modern data platform by detecting compatibility issues that can impact database functionality on your Azure SQL database as well as SQL Server on an Azure VM. The Data Migration Assistant tool is free and available for download. In this Azure Everyday video, we have an on-premises SQL Server database and plan to assess for migrating it to Azure SQL Database. Once the DMA tool is installed, you can launch the program either by clicking on the desktop icon or in this case it is pinned to my taskbar. When the DMA tool launches, you will see this screen. We can start a new project by clicking on the plus sign. Once you click on the plus sign, you'll be able to start a new project for the assessment. Since we are interested only in an assessment for this example, we will select the assessment as the project type, provide a project name, the source server type is SQL Server, and the target server type is Azure SQL Database. Once we click the Create button, we'll have other options to select for the report type. We want to select the Check Database Compatibility and Check Feature Parity options. Now we want to connect to the source server where the database we want to migrate is located. We can do this by clicking the Next button. Once we have the correct information entered, we can click the Connect button. Once you click the connect button, you will be able to see the databases available on the source system. We want to select the database you want to target for the assessment and then we'll click add. In this case, I want to select my PW Insurance database and now select add. Once you click on the add button, a window appears where we can start the assessment. To start the assessment, we click the start assessment button. The process starts and completes in a few seconds or minutes, depending on the size of the databases that are being evaluated. You will see the results of the assessment as shown. The results in the first option are the details in the SQL Server feature parity. Here you can view the detailed recommendations of the unsupported features and the partially supported feature. The recommendation section provides information on the options available on the Azure SQL database. However, in your case, on your own on-premises database, you'll see these recommendations only if your database is using these features. Next, we'll click the Compatibility Issues radio button to view the feature capability issues. In this report, you can see that we don't have any issues that potentially may block the migration to Azure SQL database. If there were issues, you can see the list of the database options that are not supported in Azure SQL Database. The Data Migration Assistant recommends to disable these options from the database before migration as it is a potential migration blocker. In order to extract the assessment as a report, you can click on the Export Report button. The Export option allows you to save the report as a JSON or CSV file. In my case, I've already saved the CSV file, and this is an example of the Data Migration Assistant Assessment Report in a CSV format. Thank you for watching this Azure Everyday video. Have a great day.